Today on Toy Shiz, we are going for the gold. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out Wave 2 of McFarlane Toys' gold label Walmart exclusive series. The Reverse Red Death Figure, Earth negative 52, very briefly in the comics. And I'll talk about that in just a few nice box standard multiverse DC universe yeah, all that good stuff here is the barcode these are starting to hit stores now and may be still available online that's where I grabbed mine and then of course the curse of apocalypse spawn figure from Mortal Kombat 11 this is one of those skins it is a repaint of the Mortal Kombat 11 spawn he's <laughs> one person said like honey mustard spawn or, I, you know, yellow birds spawn or gold spawn. We can go that route. Here's the barcode as well. These are interesting to me. One, the, the flash makes sense. The yellow spawn, yeah, we're going to see. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice, hot, golden cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Wave 2 Curse of Apocalypse Spawn and the Reverse Red Death from DC Multiverse. All right, so here both of them taken out of the packaging, and first and foremost, they're very gold, and the colors on them do work. I mean, of course, yeah, the reverse red death, they pretty much nailed the look of that character. Yes, again, it's a repaint of the red death figure, but in the comics, yeah, he just basically turns to gold. And the way the light hits that, like, white, shiny accents of the costume. Let's talk about the reverse Red Death first. And the cover art for, let's say, the, the trading card is basically just a recolored Red Death comic book cover. And I think that has to do with this particular character shows up for, like, a split second. So, yeah, they just... Recolored it. The figure also comes with the DC Multiverse stand, as most do. And yeah, it is it is a cool looking figure. And if you have been a fan of all the Death Metal, Dark Knights Metal figures, then this is definitely one for your collection. If you have the Red Death figure, you know the articulation on this guy. I would have liked to have seen maybe some electrical effects, powers, something like that. I think that's becoming the new sort of prob despite certain height issues here and there extra hands especially for a running character like this much needed because you see he has a trigger holding hand and then the outstretched hand outstretched hand that's totally fine trigger holding for this guy no you gotta give us like the outstretched running hand something to that degree the crunch works better going back uh, side to side, not really forward. I think that's another thing. I think the ab crunches need to go a lot more forward. Double jointed knees, elbows. This is where, this is the type of character, I should say, where a thigh joint is necessary. I'll admit it would break up the sculpt a little bit, especially with everything going on around that area. But you see the awkwardness of putting his leg up. He needs to be able to get in a more naturalistic sort of running pose. I believe articulation depends on the character. I can't really get him in a naturalistic running pose. And that's the entire basis for the character. But he's cool looking. The Spawn figure. Curse of the Apocalypse Spawn. Now, most of you know by now, I'm a huge Spawn fan. Now, I don't have a gold, yellow... Honey Mustard Spawn it comes with a Mortal Kombat stand. Having him out of the packaging now, it's so ridiculous. I mean, come on. It's a yellow Spawn. Spawn's never been yellow. It's a recolored skin. It's a way to put the figure back out there. Let's just be quite honest with you. Whatever. McFarlane's known for these wacko, wackadoo repaints. But it's so ridiculous. I do like it. It's so ridiculous. But I love it. <laughs> he does come with the mace. Now, here's the thing. I will say. It's so a standard articulation. If you have the Mortal Kombat 11 spawn, you know what you're getting yourself into. However, new weapons. How about some hands? Put a different head on this guy. You know what I mean? Have more of a hamburger head. Something, something needs to change in the sense of the colors is not just going to do it. You got to give us accessories. And of course, here he is lined up with other repaints of the Mortal Kombat 11 spawn. You got the nudity spawn, basically. The Mortal Kombat 11 mace spawn. There was also sword and or axe. And then you have 
yeah, the new age uh, curse, whatever, of Apocalypse Spawn. Kind of looks like when you're selecting, you know what I mean, on like a video game. Here he is lined up with the Kickstarter classic Spawn. They're roughly in the same height, of course, but you see the differences, you know what I mean? Like, I think my main problem, if anything, is just different weapons, different accessories. You can give me yellow Spawn, I don't care. I like Spawn, but powers, swords, giant swords, Anything, like even looking at the game, you know, all of Spawn's powers, all those guns come out, you could do a little bit something more because I think now at this point, we even have a blue Spawn that's coming out. Now at this point, it's become a little bit redundant and it really makes no sense in terms of, unless you've been collecting Spawn or you're a huge Spawn fan or you're a completist to that degree, there's really no point in getting a yellow spawn. Yeah, you can use them as a different character, different spawn if you really wanted to. You put a Malbolgia, that looks good. When you compare Reverse Red Death to Red Death, what happens in the comics is that the way that they stop Red Death is that Flash, Barry Allen, destroys a machine, right? That's always a thing. And it hits Red Death with positive multiverse energy because they're always delving into dark multiverse energy comics right and so the bruce wayne red death gets fizzled out and barry allen once again becomes the revert red death or the flash of that negative 52 universe but then of course he's now the reverse red death but in normals he because it's the opposite oh my god this is insane think about what i'm saying right now uh he's good <laughs> and then he gets evaporated so yeah he's barely in the comics he's in there for two seconds but that's how you stop the red death Whatever. <laughs> he looks good with the other Dark Knights. He's a good guy. Anyways, <laughs> they're fun to pose. Yes, the red reverse red death needs some extra hands. Spawn needs extra something. It's not just the colors anymore. Put some demons with a bag of demons, right? Something to that degree. They just need something more. I'll recommend these in the sense of if you're a big fan of Spawn and or DC Multiverse. If you love Dark Knight's Metal, yeah, it's a no-brainer. Pick them up. If you love Spawn, yeah. If you don't care about Spawn and anything else and you just wanted an MK11 in your collection, now this is not going to be for you. Can't really say who it's for. It's for me because I'm insane and I don't have a yellow Spawn. And he stands out in my collection, much like the nudity Spawn. But then you have so many Spawns. What's another spawn at this point? But I'm curious to know what you guys think about these two figures. Have you gotten them? Do you need to get them? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse and spawn in the gold label. There is a Warhammer 40k figure as well. I'm not a fan of that series. They're great figures. Great looking designs and everything. I just don't know about Warhammer. So yeah, I'm going to leave it up to you to grab that one as well. These are the two that I wanted. But as always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember when it comes to spawn, man, you can have all the colors of the rainbow, apparently. And what you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.